Before the Lunar Chronicles, never have I ever gone from seeing one piece of fan art to completely in love with the series. Never have I ever gone through all the books of the series twice in a row. Never have I ever done fan art that's actually based off a scene in the book. I usually just draw floating heads in class. Never have I ever gotten less than a 5 on an AP exam. Never have I ever bought two different versions of a book. Never have I ever bought multiple copies of a book to gift to other people. Never have I ever plotted out a giant massive fan fiction. So why do I love the Lunar Chronicles? Futuristic slash advanced technology is my favorite type of science fiction. That's exactly what the Lunar Chronicles is. I love altering universes, AUs, and how creative people are when they're translating elements of a story over into this completely new setting. The Lunar Chronicles is almost like an AU of fairy tales, but better because it comes with a completely fresh and new cast. I love the humor and the snarkiness and the sarcasm. I love that each book introduces new characters. It really gives each one enough development so that you really care about them and you really feel with them. Each one has such a different family background that upbringing just really shapes their personality and outlook on life and how they respond to the world around them. Lunar Chronicles has really good pacing, there's all these different subplots, the storylines are very balanced and you never feel as if they're wasting time. To be honest, I really didn't like Thorne the first time I read Scarlet because I thought that he might take Cinder away from Kai. But then after I realized that he was going to do no such thing, I completely fell in love with him. He makes the most hilarious comments. Charismatic, he's gorgeous, he knows it, and he's not afraid to use it. Thorne has grown up using his charm for his own interests. He's really rather self-centered. He acknowledges that he is when Cress calls him a hero. He's really quick to deny that. However, deep down, he really does care about the people around him. He's very driven, motivated. In the end, his actions do show him out to be a hero, and I just love that Cress believes in him all along.